So this is a this is the uh, one of their early um, dashboards I created uh, for for um, working with vision. Um, I really like it. It works very well for for uh, the data that um, or the type of data that vision has, and uh, it's a, it's basically just overlaid um, four 16-bit words on top of each other for multiple PIDs. Um, I was able to um, increase the refresh rate quite a bit by refactoring. Um, uh, the, the data model and um, I basically I'm, I'm now uh, going straight from uh, Python um, into InfluxDB instead of going through Node-RED that made an enormous difference in, in, in performance um, I'm also using more bitwise operations instead of um, uh, what I was doing uh, but but this is also while recording um, data from the OBD2 port also I'm actually uh, recording more um, CAN frames from the OBD2 um, per second than I am from OpenPilot, um, but I haven't decoded that yet, so it's um, I really don't have a whole lot, um, uh, or I don't really know what that data is, but um, I'll go ahead and display some of it. These are just some that um, uh, jumped out as being you know, somewhat interesting looking. Right now I'm doing a refresh at um, 200 milliseconds. Um, that seemed kind of like the sweet spot uh, based on the uh, processor load for influx whenever it's inserting all that data. It's over, uh, it's just over two megabytes per second, so 200 megabits per second being inserted um, and queried. Um, uh, my Wi-Fi, I guess, is, is also pulling over one and a half megabits, megabytes per second. Um, and, uh, but I'm really just, but both processes, it's two separate Python processes running in parallel, uh, both in Linux, um, going straight into um, Influx, and um, uh, then Grafana is also running in, in the, the Linux subsystem, and um, Influx is running in Linux subsystem, and, and the and Linux subsystem is able to con consume it seems as much of this as the CPU as uh, you know as is available so I'm, I'm able to hit um, um, over or go exceed 85% usage of the CPU I'm running these running this uh, system uh, really sucks the battery down quickly um, I was also uh, came up with a, a uh, more a, a better binary view. Um, this is this is looking at multiple PIDs at the same time, um, full 64 bits vertically. Um, I'm really blown away with how well um, this view um, allowed or you know, makes the individual bit changes pop. Um, they, they're very easy to see, um, whereas with the analog uh, graphs, they're not. Um, so I, I really think that this is a a very um, good view for for certain types of data, and the performance is, is surprising on this too. Uh, this actually performs better than the analog graphs. Um, I also came up with um, uh, some some. Uh, single byte views for the same data. It's kind of hard to really process it all because of so many little graphs, but um, I, I can see for certain types of data this being uh, beneficial. I wanted to mix, if I wanted to mix um, some 16-bit graphs with 8-bit graphs, I can do that. And if I wanted to view some of the, um, the OBD2 at the same time, I can still do that as well. And I, Grafana makes it really easy to um, move these, these um, sections around.
also mix the buses or overlay the buses.